Welcome to ranking Fatui Harbingers as roommates. Pretty self-explanatory. We have Fatui Harbingers and I will be ranking them today based on if I would want to live with them or not. Starting at the top, our categories are triple S tier perfect roommate, good roommate, we hang out sometimes, we get along but they're messy AF, we never talk, it's awkward, would hide from them in my room, and stay out of my house. For the sake of this video, let's just pretend that we are also a harbinger or we're, we're equally evil here, all right? But before we get started, thank you to the sponsor of today's video, AFK Journey. AFK Journey isn't just an idle game, but a cross-platform ethereal fantasy RPG with stunning visuals, intricate gameplay mechanics, and a unique cast of heroes to get a acquainted with. In this magic land, embark on a fantasy quest with the legendary mage Merlin, gathering heroes across six factions and formulating winning tactics to unlock a hidden mystery in the world of Asperia. Master battlefield strategies, explore diverse maps, solve fun puzzles, and meet interesting characters on your journey with effortless one-handed gameplay. Those of you who are a fan of AFK Arena can reunite with beloved heroes and enjoy Journey's added equipment resonance along the way. I honestly can't get over how gorgeous the art style is in this game. Between the environments and all these characters, there's so much to take in and enjoy. And speaking of characters, to celebrate the game's official release, players can acquire all heroes for free, including epics, allowing for a wide variety of strategies as you begin your quest. You'll also receive over 200 free pulls as you progress through the game and complete events such as the 7-day login. AFK Journey is now available for free on iOS, Google Play, and PC from their official website. Redeem my CD key, AFK Journey 88 from now until May 27th to receive 100 diamonds and 18,888 gold coins. Set off on your journey today. And remember, anywhere you go, magic follows. Thank you again to AFK Journey for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the tier list. All right, first up we have Tartaglia. You know, he's a nice guy. A little chaotic. He's got the money though. All right, let's be honest here. Uh, we will be living in a high rise penthouse. I don't think, I don't, he might not even make you pay rent. He'd be like, eh, don't worry about it, I got it. <laughs> I don't know why he sounded like Shao just now. <laughs> he would always be down to play video games. He's chill, he's like grounded. Don't go in his room though, because he's got like a crossbow and, and a spear. I don't even wanna know where he's getting all these weapons from. I don't care what he's up to when he's not home. As long as when he comes home, he's like not too messy, which he might kind of be, but he seems chill with it. I don't fully trust him and I feel like things would be a little awkward. I'm gonna say he's a good roommate and we hang out sometimes. I think he's a little bit too energetic for me. I really don't see us having any particular problems as long as you do your laundry on time. Next up is Scaramosh. Not to be confused with the Wanderer. We are going back in time a little bit. This is Scaramosh. I don't trust him. I don't know why, but I feel like he would narc on me for some reason. Also, he's a puppet. Would he eat anything? Hold on. I'm gonna look this up real quick. Can Scaramosh poo? He can definitely eat food, so where does all that food go? Does it come out as a chewed mush like a feed me doll? <laughs> Why are people asking this dude? As a matter of fact, does the Shogun also poo? <laughs> Okay, so it's inconclusive. At the end of the day, I don't think he's eating my leftovers. That's all I was trying to look up. I just feel like he is so preoccupied with getting this gnosis and just up to no good. I don't think we'd get along, dude. I don't think we'd, we'd ever talk. I think it would be awkward. You come out wearing your pajamas and your hair's up in a bun. And he's like, Tch. Nice, good, good look. It's a good look for you. What? God, I just woke up, relax. I wouldn't actively hide from him though. I feel like there's worse people on this list. Next up, we have Senora. Girl, she's dead. Again, let's back it up here. Let's, let's go back in time to when she was oh. not dead. Crimson Witch of Flame is pretty sick as a title, I will say. Supposedly, she is hunting down the monsters that killed her lover, so like we stan. Maybe she just needs a gal pal. We can go up for brunch we can get mimosas like her outfits a sleigh i feel like she'd be down for a shopping trip also let, let's not forget that her fun activities include kicking venti and and stealing candy from babies 
<laughs> we love a girl boss. If I am also kind of evil, if I'm also a harbinger or harbinger adjacent, I, I think she's great. I would live with Senora. I think she would be a perfect roommate for me. I feel like she would be tidy. We'd have some good talk and we can bond over our shared disdain for bards. It just sounds like a perfect situation. 10 out of 10. Arlequino. I do not trust her. Scarmoj called her a wolf in sheep's clothing. Even Tartagles does not trust her. That is a really bad sign. She plays nice, but if she wants something from you, you are in for trouble. If I'm not on her bad side, I feel like we'd get along. Although the orphanage thing is kind of a red flag. She would probably also be down for brunch of mimosas though. Like, bro, imagine the girl boss scenario if I lived with both Senora and Arlequino. Sounds like Charlie's angels. I am down for this. I do trust her less. I feel like she's more conniving. I think I'm gonna put her in we hang out sometimes, but as long as you're not on her bad side, I feel like she would be civil. I mean, we saw in the Archon quest that she's capable of like helping out, you know, as long as it's within her best interest. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna leave her there. Il Capitano. Hello, how are you doing? We don't know the most about him. Apparently he has a sense of absolute righteousness, you know, very lawful, a little strict. He would probably keep the house very clean. If I put him in a triple S or good roommate entirely hinges on if he would want to hang out with me. He would. I'm saying it. He would. Look at him. Look him in the eye and tell me that he would not want burnt triple bosses. He seems like the kind of guy who you'd be like, hey, I'm going to go to the mall. Do you want to come with me? He'd be like, eh. And then he'd just kind of like hold your bags for you while you're out shopping and not really make a fuss about it. I think he would be good for me personally. If we learn more about him in like a future patch and he sucks so bad. Well... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, I, I just, I see it. I see the vision. I see the vision. Columbina. I can't get a read on her. She looks so innocent, but she seems like she is dastardly. She is dangerous. Apparently she has godlike powers. I think she would be messy for some reason. I'm getting the vibe that she would just leave stuff everywhere and not really care. She would like be so innocent about it too. It's like, uh, girl, can you like clean your dishes out of the sink? No. <laughs> Okay. Or she would like expect other people to do it for her. I don't know. She just seems like she'd be a little entitled or something. But I don't think I would have beef with her other than the fact that she's messy. We get along, but they're messy AF. She doesn't scare me personally to the point where I'd want to hide from them. But yeah. The Tore. Absolutely not. Stay out of my house. In fact, keep like a 20 mile radius from my house. He is doing weird experiments in the basement. He would bring people home without asking and then they just never leave. Like, where did they go? Where did that person go? Oh, don't worry about it. High key tortured Kale. We don't stand. Even by like, you know, even if I was like a fellow evildoer, I feel like he sucks. Also, he's like a freaking weirdo making copies of himself. No, worst harbinger to live with. And I will stand. And I will stand on business with that. And if you did live with him, I feel like he would lecture you. Like if, if you're not eating healthy enough or you didn't get enough sleep, he'd be like, mm, you really should take care of yourself. It's like, shut up. Like, <laughs> that's none of your business. Next up is Pantalone. Another a wealthy individual. Okay, he's got the money. We'd also live in a very nice penthouse. However, apparently he works closely with Dottore. Red flag. I don't trust him. He's smiling. He looks like he'd be nice. He looks like he'd be down for a bunch of mimosas. But like, at what cost? I'm gonna give him mildly more benefit of the doubt than Dottore, but I would actively hide from him in my room. Piero. He's from Conria, which is kind of sick. Big leader, so he probably wouldn't be home a lot, which is always appreciated, I guess, if you don't really get along with somebody. He seems respectful. He would probably pay his bills on time. He would be clean and orderly. Although he has like this old man energy. I don't think he'd be a very relatable roommate. I'm gonna say we never talk. It's awkward. He's just like reading in the study and you just feel like you have to like tiptoe around him so you don't bother him. He would be nice. He'd be civil. I feel like he would give you advice if you came home crying or something. I don't know. Sometimes you come home crying. It happens. Next is Puccinella. Another, oh man, got grandpa energy. Maybe a family man. Although he is a very strict guy. He would definitely yell at you for disturbing his quiet time when he's trying to read a book. I'm gonna say I would hide from him 
him in my room. He's got cranky grandpa energy, whereas Piero has like stoic grandpa energy. There's a distinction. And finally, we have Sandrone, giant robot man in my house. Like what else could I ask for in this life? No, but honestly, is this is this two roommates? Is this is this two for one deal here? Like, are they both paying the rent? Are they both chipping in? <laughs> this just doesn't seem like a good situation for a roommate. I feel like the girl would be messy. She's a tinkerer. She's making these robots. She would just leave stuff everywhere. I guarantee there would just be bits and bops and bolts all over the family room at all times. Either that or she never leaves her room and you just hear crazy loud noises at all hours of the night. She is definitely staying up all night and does not care about quiet hours when she is welding her robots. I don't think there would necessarily be any beef. Again, I'm just gonna say we get along, but they're messy AF. I think I would be less likely to want to live with her than Columbina just because like there's too many factors. This is so evenly distributed, dude. I love Il Capitano and Triple S. That just tickles me. This feels pretty fair. I think I feel pretty confident in the placements here. All right, so this is my definitive ranking tier list of which Harbingers I would want to live with. Senora Capitano, hit me up. In fact, let's get a three-person apartment. Let's do this thing. And Dottore, you get away from me. This was fun. I have never made a Harbinger tier list before. I feel like there's a couple different interests ones that I could rehash with these people. So let me know in the comments below if there's any other funny tier lists you can think of. Also, please let me know which of these characters you would most want to live with and your reasoning why. I love always reading your personal headcanons like, this person wouldn't pay their rent on time. This person would play Tony Hawk with me though, so that would be pretty fun. <laughs> Again, coming from this perspective that we are also harbingers or someone evil because you can't just be like, well, they're mean, so I can't live with them. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any other future video ideas and until next time, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Uh,